Well guys, welcome. I'm back for a little bit of redemption on this uh, same stretch again as my last video. If you saw that, conditions were absolutely wild. Gusting winds, crazy conditions, difficult to control the lines and the landing net. Bite indication was really difficult to see, so uh, I felt like I left a few bites on the uh, bank that day. So I'm back on the same stretch, just a little bit further down, back for a bit of redemption and to catch up on those couple of barbel bites that I think I left behind on that session. So uh, let's get set up, get some rods out, get some lines in the water. I'll show you what I'm going to target today, see if we can get a few fish on the bank. Quick look at the rig for today's session. So I'm going to make a small change from uh, the last time I was on this particular stretch. So going in today with a feeder, so two ounce feeder, um, it's a standard sort of cage feeder there on a running rig. It's the Coram Bolton Run kit. So down to a bead there. Got my fluorocarbon hook link on a quick change swivel underneath that anti-tangle sleeve there. Hook link, three to four foot long, something like that down to a size eight, Let's just drop the main line there. There we go, okay. 14 mil pellet, CKO. That did a lot of bites on this stretch last time I was here, so let's just move the camera up a little bit there. So uh, yeah, gonna go in with that to start with. Got some uh, shrimp and krill ground bait mix today, uh, red in color, nice and bright. So we're uh, gonna build a swim up with that. I'll show you that in a few minutes, but a couple of different hook bait choices to go to. A bit later in the session if we need to with some boilie. Uh, I've also got um, some lunch and meat with me today as well so we'll try that as well if needed but let's get out with a pellet to start with see if we get a few on the bank. So a quick look at the ground bait for today's session then. It's the dynamite, big fish river range, shrimp and krill. Nice and bright, a few lumps in at the minute but we'll get those out. I've got some uh, Vortex bait, CKO pellets running through that as well. And then hook bait wise, CKO again. There's the hook baits. Lovely smell to these. Been doing plenty of bites on recent sessions. So that's what we're going to go into in with to start the session. And we can adjust up and change if we need to. Well, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm a massive fan of hemp. This for me, best bait there is to be fishing on the rivers. So where I went badly wrong on the last session was that I couldn't get it across to the far bank with the winds. So I'm going to be mixing some of this hemp in with the ground bait mix. Get that in the feeder and across onto that far margin that we're going to target today. Okay, I made three quick casts on both rods just to get some ground bait out into the swim. I'll show you where I'm targeting today. So upstream rod, just on the edge of that bay there. That's similar to where one of the rods was on the last session. Put the downstream rod, just this section of water across there. I'm gonna try and build some feed up in there See if we can pick up a few bites off that spot as the afternoon progresses. Small but absolutely perfect. Look at that for an absolutely stunningly marked marble. Just under four pound. Big tails, big fin. Lots of power, beautiful fish. Okay, here's the next one. Look at that. Just over five pounds. Put up a great fight on the uh, downstream rod. Taking on the pellet again. Let's have a quick look at the other side. Come on, mate, 
calm down. Small for the camera time. It's got a mark on this fish. There we go. What a bauble. Let's get this one back, see if we can tempt a bigger one. So when I'm fishing ground bait, one thing I always do is just drop them in the margins. There we go, we can see that shrimp and krill down there. Really distinctive. Stands out a lot on the bottom against a bit of weed that's down there on top of the gravels. It's always good to see what it looks like. Big take on the downstream rod. Oh, it's a barbell though, I think it's a chub. That was a vicious take that was. Yeah, definitely a chub. It's coming in like a... Uh... Wow. You give that a good go, mate. You wanted that, all right. Okay, first chub of the session then. Here we go. Three and a half pounds. Not really a mark on it. Lovely fish. Let's have a quick look at the other side. Okay, there we go. There's the other side. Right, let's get him back. Get the rod back out for another one. Well, very nice to have got that chub there on the uh, downstream rod, but I'm just gonna have a quick bait change. Cuban meat, quite a big cube as well, just as a trial for a period of time. Just see if we can pick a bigger fish out of the swim. Let's get this rod back out and see how we get along with it. Pull there, that was definitely a bauble. Oh well, that was a bit of a blow. That downstream rod there, straight on the uh, on the meat, hooped straight over, literally within about two minutes of being in the water. Definite barbel bite. Saw it come to the surface there, but uh, hook pulled uh, around mid water, but part of the game but uh, rod straight back out on the spot so uh, fingers crossed we can pick up another one. Hello mate, where have you come from? For a bite to eat, not sure I've got anything for you though. Yeah what's your name? Well one dog reunited again with its owner for a snack on the side of the bank. Gorgeous afternoon. Sun seems to be spending more time out than uh, behind the clouds now, which seems to have 
coincided with the slowdown in the barbel bites. A couple of guys on the far bank over there. That's the view upstream. Okay, got the upstream rod in for a refresh, just to get some more ground bait out into the swim. So, just while I'm doing that, fresh 14 mil CKO pellet on there and a small PVA bag of matching pellets to go out back onto that far margin over there. Another bottom on the downstream rod. And probably Mr. Chubb again. Yeah, there's a nice chub in the net. There's our latest chub. Just under four. I'm not going to bring him on the mat, but he's keen to go, so let's get him back. Few chub bites coming now. There's three chub on the bank so far. Two barbel. Plus that one barbel we dropped there on the uh, downstream rod. It's getting towards late afternoon. Should be good for one or two more yet, hopefully. Downstream rods away again. It's our good friend, the Chub. Slightly better chub, so we'll have a look at this one. He's got some battle scars down the side of him. Four pound ten. There we go. Downstream rod, took the cube of meat. Snatch it off Mr. Barbel, probably. Greedy old chub. Nice to see him though. A few tear marks in the tail around the block this one let's get him back well the chub are well and truly on the feed aren't they so uh, a few bites come in uh, quite quickly now on both rods uh, the temperature feels a little bit warmer it's about 5 30 now and uh, rather than getting a little bit cooler as the afternoon's progressed it feels like it's probably clipped up a couple more degrees and uh, it's got quite a humid feel to it today so uh, that might be why the barbel have just dropped off the feed uh, so um, yeah, getting towards early evening. Hopefully, as the uh, as the sun drops, a bit more cloud cover comes in, the barbel can come back on the uh, on the feed. We can pick up one or two more before the end of the session. 
Well, not ideal bubble conditions. Not, not what you would say the uh, textbook predicts as the greatest fishing conditions, but we've had three barbel bites so far. Really low river. The level's been like this pretty much since the season started, but still finding a few bites though. Beautiful afternoon. So there's more bites coming on the downstream rod now. Seems like the chub are holding up in this area across here. Last session, in that gusty wind, a lot more bites coming on that side over there. No days ever the same on the river. Keep exploring. Find out where the fish are. Just be flexible to keep those bites coming. Right, the uh, upstream rod's been quiet for uh, probably about half an hour now. So uh, I've just done uh, three quick casts just along that area there. Just ground bait only, just to put some extra bait into the swim get some smell into the river along the line, let the ground bait be taken by the flow. Hopefully draw a few fish in. Upstream rod absolutely hooped over. This feels a powerful fish. Getting that extra bait in it's probably worked nicely there. Just gaining bit by bit. Yeah, I can see it now mid water, it's definitely a barbel. Just sat there in the flow at the minute. Like that is hopefully the camera's picking that up. Gorgeous bobble.
That's it, it's off again. Well, I've been waiting for a better barble. And here it is. Put up a great fight. Absolutely perfect looking fish. One small mark just down by its tail. Let's have a look at you, mate. Nine pound, 10 ounces. River seven muscle. Look at that. These are the ones we fish for. Absolutely mega. Chuff with that one. Let's have a quick look at the other side. Here we go. Beautiful barbel. River seven, thank you very much. Let's get this one rested and get it straight back. swimming off strongly upstream just as they should be brilliant well nine pound ten ounces biggest barbell of the season absolutely chuffed and made up with that one what a fish that was so a uh, couple of things have really played out to my favor there so the upstream rod uh, the barbell took the 14 mil cko pellet but five or ten minutes before the bite i brought the rod in three quick cast just to top the swim up with ground bait because it felt like it gone a little bit quiet so putting that extra bait in had really caused that fish in my opinion to respond and to investigate the area it found the hook bait and bang the fight starts from there so uh, yeah I'm chuffed as well I've come back to uh, this stretch I had a feeling after the last session that it would do a decent fish and uh, yeah you never know whether you should go back to uh, the same peg quite quickly after you've done a session but uh, yeah i'm very happy i've done so downstream rod this time this is the rod that's on the uh, cuban meat decent tape there Now that temperature's dropped a bit, there's some barb will move back into the swim again. Well, they've just come onto the feed. able to gain much on this so far this feels a lump as well this does The 
see the fish now it's about halfway across just sat there in the flow definitely feels a solid fish again don't want to try and have to take this underneath the uh, upstream rod just watching the upstream rod now, there's a couple of taps on there You didn't want that net, did you? Thought that might happen. Looked like he was ready, and then uh, a blast of energy. Brilliant. Wow, what a 10 minute spell that was. Downstream rod this time, on the meat. Purposely on the meat today to try and pick up a, bi a bigger fish. Thought it was a good fish as soon as I hit into it. Look at that. 10 pound, four ounces. First double of the season from the seven. Look at the length of it. Wow. Stunning barbel that is. Can't take my eyes off that. Let's have a quick look at the other side. Here we go. What an absolute beauty. Just very, very quickly. Full length of the mat. First time that's happened for a good while for me on the seven. Not a mark on that fish. That is an absolute specimen from the River Seven. There's that double resting in the net there. Hit a few kicks now, not far off. Just gonna hang on to this one for probably about another five minutes. Gotta be ultra careful with these bigger fish. Let's make sure it's fully rested before it goes back. That's it mate, all good to go. Thank you very much. Look at that, speed. Wow, what a 10 or 15 minute spell that was. Nine pound, 10 ounce, upstream rod, followed very quickly by on the downstream rod, 10 pound, four ounce barbel. What a brace of fish, absolutely stunning. I thought both were decent barbels as soon as I hooked up with those. Felt the fish, 
stunning brace absolutely chuffed with that that's probably one of those spells that you only get maybe once if you're lucky or twice a season got to remember that for a long time so it's still quite bright but the temperature's definitely dropped a bit now let's get this feeder loaded up still plenty of ground bait there to go that's it Shrimp and krill mixed with hemp. Let's get that rod back out. Well, an hour, hour and a half left, something like that. Still can't believe what just happened there. So uh, just top the uh, the swim up with some loose feed meat onto the far margin just to, to trickle down the swim. Probably give it 15, 20 minutes. If nothing else comes, I might do a couple of quick recasts again because putting that extra bait in definitely made a difference there. So uh, we'll see what happens over the next few minutes. And uh, uh, if there's... If there's no further action, then we'll get a quick top up, get some more ground bait into the swim, see if we can pull a few more fish into the area. Well, we've probably got about an hour of daylight left now. It's a gorgeous evening. Nice golden sunlight. What better place to be than on the side of the River Severn? Right, so the swim's gone a little bit quiet again, so uh, I've just put five quick casts all in that area there. Plenty of ground bait across there. Some chopped meat in the catty as well. Tap there on the right hand rod. Let's just keep watching that, see if that develops into anything. Typical chub tap that was. Right, here's the latest barbel. On the meat again, on the downstream rod. Here we go. Fin up, just to show off. Big tail on this fish, put up a nice fight. Thought it was actually a little bit bigger than what it is, but still five and a half pound, very welcome. Bottom rods into uh, action again. get twitches on this
didn't want the look of me. <laughs> Won't be the first time that happens. Another beautiful barbel in the net. Upstream rod on the 14 mil pellet. Let's just give him a couple of minutes for a rest and then we'll get him out and have a look. Okay, sixth barbel of the session. Upstream rod, back on that pellet again. There we are. Another scale perfect barbel. Six pound, 10 ounces. Lovely fish. Well, just about to pack up. And we've got a bite on the downstream rod. It might be a chub, you know. Yeah, it's coming in like a, uh, like a dog on a lead. Mr. White Lips himself. There you go. That's going to be the last one of the session, I think. So there's that latest chub. Well, that's going to be the end of the video and the session now. So uh, what a brace of bobble that was tonight. Um, I've got to pack up now and get myself back home, but terrific session. I'm so pleased that I decided to come back. Um, I don't normally fish the same stretch consecutively. I like to fish different sections of the river and uh, test myself on uh, different tickets, different waters, but I'm really, really happy I come back and uh, did another session here. So uh, yeah, quality brace of bobble there, £9.10, £10.4 and uh, uh, supporting cast of uh, barbel and chub as well so it's been a uh, terrific session hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel there's plenty more to come over the course of the summer into this autumn thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one again soon